Hey, how are you this morning? Uh, so previously I put a video together where I showed you how to use the functions of MathCAD to do a linear regression uh, for some data that you uh, might import. And so I wanted to do a similar thing today where we're going to bring in some data using uh, our read Excel function, uh, but it's not going to be good linear data, so it's better fit with an exponential uh, curve. And so we're going to have to use the exponential fit function to get our uh, uh, our best to, uh, fit for it. So I've already set this up. So I'm reading from Excel uh, the data. The data is I'm just showing you the data here. It, it's just randomly generated and I've already parsed it out. So I've set X equal to the first column of the data array and Y equal to the second column of the data array. So I have my X and Y coordinates in individual arrays. And so I'm going to get started right away, I'm just going to sit here and I'm going to say C because this function is going to return the coefficients uh, uh, of the uh, exponential uh, polyfit or, or sorry, exponential equation. And we're going to set that equal to, we need the exponential fit. So we're going to go up to functions. So it's up in curve fitting and smoothing. Uh, it's bouncing off my uh, displayed area, but it's at uh, EXPFIT, it's in the second column, and so we can put it in here. Now, it offers three parameters. You need the first two. The third one is if you have some guess values that you'd like to input for uh, the, the different coefficients. I don't have those, so I can delete that. And so these two values then need to be my X and my Y uh, coordinates for the data. And then I'm going to hit equals and we're going to see the coefficients that it returns for our exponential fit. So now <clears throat> I'm able to just create a function for that fit. So I'm going to call it curve and make it a function of x and it is equal to our first coefficient. So using the index c1 and that's multiplied by e all to the power of C2 using the index again, times X plus, oh, miss my plus there, plus C3. And that gives my curve. And so now if I go into my chart component, now I've already set it up. I've just made it uh, inactive. So if I can enable the region, it's now going to show me the uh, curve fit that we just did. And I can get rid of the inputs. And so data straight up through to curve fit, easily plottable. And so the coefficients uh, given right there. So hopefully that's useful to you if you ever find yourself in a circumstance where you need an exponential regression. Uh, easy to do, uh, just you know, as easy as a linear uh, curve fit would be. So hopefully that was useful and We'll go on and do a polyfit in case you have a polynomial fit.